Every day I make a health claim and someone argues it in the comments section. Why can't we all get along? I thought that's what we're doing here. We're looking for true health. Calm down. Calm down. A lot of people are afraid of sugar. And when I say diabetes is caused by too much fat and protein, you can't fathom your mind around it. You say, no, it's the sugar. Diabetes, blood, sugar, sugar. Every... It's the fat. And I'll prove it. I love you, colon girl, it's my world, I will never make a sound. First, a little Scientology lesson for those who don't know what diabetes is. Say you eat a high carb meal, 10 bananas. Wow, those are gross. You eat it. What should happen? Your blood sugar starts rising as it gets absorbed into your body. Your body's like, okay, there's all this sugar in my blood. What do we do? We produce insulin. Insulin holds hands with your little sugar buddy walks them into the cell like a kid going to school here you go and there you go i'll see you later 3 p.m enjoy your brainwashing make sure to choose your gender which one you gonna be so that's how it should work blood sugar goes up comes down we're good to go what's the problem why do so many people have diabetes is it too much sugar no no. When you mix high fat foods with the high carb now, you had your 10 bananas, but you added avocados to it. Or normal people, cake, donuts, hot dogs with the bun. Everything is high fat, high carb together. When you do that, now all of a sudden, you eat this high carb and high fat, sugar's going up in the blood. Your body's like, okay, cool, no problem. You produce the insulin. You take little Timmy to school. All of a sudden, the door's locked. Oh shit, what's going on? Oh yeah, there was a blizzard today. Ah oh, damn it, the schools are closed. What are we gonna do? I got so many kids here. And your body starts panicking. You can't get in to the cell because fat clogged up the lock of your insulin key. So now, the sugar can't just leave your blood and it's elevated for hours, if not days, and you get cankles you get the diabetic socks that squeeze your leg. Some people amputate their leg, you get thirsty, you're tired. So while you can, in theory, heal diabetes by eating a low carb diet, avoiding sugar, that's really just tricking the numbers. You prick your little finger and it's like, oh, my blood sugar is low, because you didn't eat any sugar. Obviously, why would it ever spike? But if you want to heal diabetes and be able to digest and lower your sugar properly and survive and eating all the high carb fruits and veggies and starches and all that stuff, fun stuff, then you got to lower the fat so this insulin can actually work. Now let me prove this to you with self-experimentation and scientific documentation. Here we have my fasting blood sugar. This is when I was eating fruit all day two meals of fruit basically and then a starchy meal which was so high carb you wouldn't even believe it it was like one and a half cups raw rice then cooked and adding two tablespoons of coconut sugar to that and some veggies so eating like that my dinner was at least 1200 calories of rice and sugar and veggies done eating by like 5 p.m next morning fasting blood sugar 4.7 completely normal perfect even documented gold star blood. So I did some monkey strength workouts to build a thunder god fruitarian body. And then I ate a cantaloupe. It was 613 calories. And what you want to do is measure your blood sugar two hours after the cantaloupe or other food was intaken. Then you know your blood sugar should be back down to normal. So mine was 4.9 after two hours after eating that cantaloupe. Perfect like almost back right down to normal. I bled for you. This is why fruit is the perfect food for diabetics and all human beings. It just feels right. It digests fast. Blood sugar goes up, comes down. You're good to go. You're hydrated. Boom. If, however, you were to eat a high protein and high carb meal, I sacrificed my gut for quinoa here to learn 1,200 calories. It was one cup of quinoa, half a cup of rice. Disgusting. 
so much protein, way too much protein. I built like eight pounds of muscle in that meal alone. Two hours after that meal, not so happy, are we? Not as happy, 7.2, it's not diabetic. They say that's normal, it was coming down, but come on, man. If I would have had fruit for that dinner, we'd be laughing. So you can see the higher protein and just having starch in general. It took longer to digest that, so everything was slower. Not great, but I went even further here. I went to all-you-can-eat vegan sushi. It was like lots of avocado. I was having banana avocado sushi, mango avocado, avocado and everything. So much avocado, like so high fat and high carb. This is what most people do all the time. You go out, eat anything, a hamburger, high fat, high carb, high protein. My fasting blood sugar the next day, 5.6 way higher dangerous levels what the hell is that just because there was so much fat it took so long that was an extreme example because it was all you can eat sushi and i did not hold back i ate a lot wow 5.6 not so great so i was expecting my next fruit meal to just be like so slowly digesting because all the fat from the night before what shocked me 4.9 Two hours after my honeydew melon, 700 calories, totally normal. So I survived where you might not. Now I had to know, was it because I ate high carb and high fat together in that all you can eat sushi meal that my blood sugar was elevated fasting the next day? Or was it just the fat in general? What if I ate a low carb meal? So I did that. I made my own Lou Corona walnut yogurt it was like 800 calories, just the yogurt alone. Fermented four hours, dinner just, it was just mixed with veggies, mostly low carb. There was a rutabaga. How many carbs are in there? I don't know, eight. Veggies, walnut yogurt, 1200 calories roughly, super high fat. Fasting blood sugar the next day, 5.2. Still elevated, better than the all you can eat sushi, mixing high carb and high fat but still just the fat had my blood sugar elevated longer. In my opinion, you don't want prolonged high blood sugar. That's what gets you. It's the little spikes right into the cell. That's normal, that's normal physiology. That's what happens when you eat high carb foods and they're all natural. All plants almost are all high carb. It's when your blood sugar stays high for long. It just it thickens up the blood it gets all sticky and you get bad symptoms so it's funny it's ironic that the more fat you eat is what causes blood sugar to linger it loiters so like high carb it just in and out boom gone high fat then you stick around so all these people who are afraid of sugar it's the fat that you're eating that causes the fear what I'm not willing to do for this experiment is eat the high fat breakfast and then a fruit meal. Cause I know that would elevate and just cause digestive disturbances. I don't need that in my life. So we're just chilling with that theory. If you want to go prove it yourself, go try a couple tablespoons of oil and then eat a fruit meal and you will see it. You will see the difference. I ain't willing to do, I already know. Now, not as all fairies and pickle juice in fruit land. If you overeat and it's a dense fruit, be careful. It happens to me. I ate a bunch of figs and bananas two hours after 6.9. I hate you bananas. I never liked bananas. And I just, I, I don't know, that almost as bad as a huge rice meal for me. I don't know why that happens. I think it was just too much and it was not good. You can overload your system. There's plenty of people healing type two diabetes. It's not that hard eating high carb, low fat. There's lots of stories out there. There's a channel mastering diabetes. He had type one, still has it, but like that, he found high fruit to be the least required insulin food. So like he needs the least amount. And so like, as long as it's low fat, it's fine. And I know there's tons of stories of people healing diabetes on low carb but they're just avoiding the carbs so like give them a high carb meal and watch holy shit my blood sugar is really elevated for long oh that sugar that sugar really sucks 
No, you suck at digesting the sugar. You should get better at it. It's an insult. But we learned a lot. Sugar is fine. You should drink it and rub your body with it and thumb up the video. Thumbs down. If you work for the Diabetic Association of Kenya, I don't believe that you have the people's best wishes in mind with your organization. You take donations, but do they ever go to buy sugar for the community? I doubt it. You're a fraud. Unlike me. I'm gonna go eat sugar. I have cantaloupes. You subscribing? For more videos, I'll see you next time.